Oh, we got a really good one today. We got the Autofix D1 Pro. Let's check this thing out. This I've been waiting for this one. This one's really good. Let's get into it here. All right, so you got the scan tool itself, the Autofix, the 10.1 inch screen diagonally, and you got the VCI connector here, the new style Autel slash Autofix VCI here. Uh, it's got this new VCI has got a, a push button here and it's got a light that comes on and then there's a, a green light when it's connected to the vehicle and then there's a, there's a blue light that illuminates when it's uh, trans uh, transmitting via Bluetooth and then there's a USB uh, connector a USB-C connector on the bottom that you can use for a couple purposes one if you have problems with Bluetooth you can use a USB cable and connect this to the scan tool and use it as a corded VCI. You also use the cable to do a firmware update in the VCI. But anyway, let's get look at the tool here. Like I said, it's a 10.1 inch screen. On the top, it's got the power button, a micro USB port, USB A, HDMI, USB A, headphone jack, and charging port. And on the back here, we got a 16 megapixel camera and flash. And of course, you got the uh, quick reference guide for the D1 Pro, and you've got the uh, a packing list for the D1 Pro. It shows the uh, shows the main unit, the VCI, the wall charger, a USB cable, a cigarette lighter charger or power port charger, a couple extra fuses, a USB to Ethernet adapter, and some paperwork and a cleaning cloth. So let's take a look here. So here's the in a bag of course let's uh take a look and pull it out kind of like what you'd have for a laptop it's a power brick the cord that plugs into one end and the other end chart pl plugs into your uh, scan tool and then in this bag there's a cleaning cloth and in this bag there is get it open here there's that Ethernet adapter. There's your uh, cigarette lighter charger and your USB-A to USB-C USB cable. Okay, so this might be hard to see the, the screen here under the lights, but we'll get more into the screen and the icons on the screen once we take it outside and plug it into a vehicle. You can see that better when we get out there. And just as a comparison, here is the D1 Lite that I did a video on a few months back. So you can see the difference between the D1 Lite and the D1 Pro. I'll stand them up here so you can see the thickness difference. I'm going to be doing a video on the differences between the D1 Lite and the D1 Pro. But just wanted to give you a quick, uh, quick reference here in this video as you can see the difference. Now, just for fun, let's compare it to my to my Autel MK908. They both have a 10.1 inch screen, and in my opinion, uh, this is the modern Autofix version of the Autel 908. Now, I've, as I'm sure a lot of you know, I've made a, a, a lot of scan tool videos in the past. I've been fortunate enough to try and test out many different scan tools, but when it comes down to it behind the scenes, this is my scan tool. This is the one I normally use. This has been, you know, like I said in many of my other videos, I'm, I'm, I'm an Autel fan. And this is the scan tool that I use when I'm working on my, you know, working on stuff. This has become my new favorite. This is the new modern version of this. And the hardware in this one, I'll put up, I'll put up a comparison side by side here. So you can see the compare the the hardware spec differences between these two. Now keep in mind this one has much better hardware, and you get two years of free updates instead of one year of free updates. And when you do buy the updates, the updates are much much cheaper than this one. Even today, this one here is like eight hundred nine hundred bucks to update once a year. It's never been updated, uh, but that's what it would cost. Uh, the hardware in this one and the hardware in this this one has a has. A, 
an eight core processor. This one has a six. This one, the clock speed is faster than this one. Uh, but like I said, I'll put up a quick uh, comparison, side-by-side -side spec comparison between these two of what you get basically four or five years ago for today. And the price of this one four or five years ago was almost double of what this one is today. And this one is better than this one. So the auto fix definitely worth looking at. Okay, before I go any farther, I'll put this up on screen so everyone can see it better. Uh, it's a couple of questions I had for the t for the people at AutoFix, and uh, these were their answers. I said, how long is the free update period? They said, the free update period is two years. Now, the Autel I just showed you is only one year. Even brand new Autels are only one year, and the AutoFix is two years. You're getting Autel software for two years, and when you do have to pay for the update, it's cheaper, so it's much better deal. Uh, how much do the annual updates cost for this D1 Pro when the update, when the free update period has ended? They said the cost for annual updates after the free update period ends is $299. And I said, does the D1 Pro continue to operate at its full capability at the current software level if the customer decides to not update the tool after the free update period has ended? And their answer is, the D1 Pro will continue to operate with its existing capabilities even if the customer decides not to update the tool. However, I put an asterisk there, and the asterisk is if you're working on a brand new modern vehicle, that when the last few years modern vehicles have started requiring that scan tools have a connection to the cloud in order for them to perform certain functions with the scan tool. So if you let if you let your free update period run out and you no longer are getting your free updates, you haven't paid for that. And if you try to use this on a new modern car like the one we're going to go out and plug into here in a few minutes, it's a 2022 Kia, that vehicle requires the scan tool to have access to the internet and to their cloud in order for some functions to work. That's not the scan tool doing that. That's not the, like you could buy a different brand of scan tool and get around it. That's the vehicle that requires it. So regardless of brand, you'd need to have a connection. Now, on 99.9899% of the cars on the road still today, it's like, the, like, it's like it always used to be. No cloud connection required, and your current level of software will always work on the scan tool. So all these older vehicles on the road, you don't need updates to continue to work on those. It works just fine without it. So moving on. Uh, how long is the manufacturer's warranty? The manufacturer's warranty is for one year. Does AutoFix provide customer service and technical assistance directly to the end user? What is the best way to contact the customer service tech department? And they said, yes, AutoFix provides direct technical support to customers. Detailed contact information can be found at, and you see the web address there. And customers can also upload data through the cloud and request assistance from AutoFix engineers online. You know, that means via through the scan tool tablet itself. And real quick, I'll put up another one up on screen here. It's the specs for the D1 Pro here. It uh, runs on Android 10. It has an 8-core processor with a maximum clock speed of 2.2 gigahertz, which is quite a bit faster than that Autel I just showed you a few minutes ago. It has 4 gigs of RAM, 128 gigabyte of storage, it has Wi-Fi. It doesn't say it on here, but it's either 2.4 or 5.0 gigahertz. It has both bands. Uh, 16 megapixel camera. It shows all the sensors and the input and outputs. And uh, it's got a 15 milliamp, 15,000 milliamp hour battery. And uh, you can see the rest of those uh, those specs there if you're interested. So anyway, this scan tool has a few more abilities than say the D1 Lite. Uh, I have a chart here that I printed out for the comparison video that I'm going to make between the light and the pro, but I have a, I have a chart here that I'll put up on the screen in this video so that you can see for yourself what the differences are between the D1 light and the D1 pro. Now this will also be in the, the dedicated video about the differences, but anyway, this thing, uh, this thing's awesome. She scoots right along, and uh, now let's take it outside and plug it into a car. Hold on. I forgot a couple things real quick here. The inspection scope. The inspection scope. 
I just bought this twenty dollar. Let me move this out of the way. This is a twenty dollar cheap inspection scope from uh, from Amazon. It's a no name. It was twenty bucks, and it's got an adapter on the end. It goes from USB A to USB C or mini USB. So it's got three plugs basically in one. The end of the the end of the bore scope is small enough diameter. It will go into a spark plug hole, no problem. There are LED lights in the end, and there's a controller here with a with a wheel on the side to brighten and dim, to dim or brighten the lights on the end of the scope. And just to show you that you don't need an expensive brand name scope, I'm going to plug this into, I will plug this into one of the ports here. Then I'm going to go over to uh, Maxi Video. And there it is. You can see my. There's the box. You can see it on the screen. And there's lights on it. You can see I'm zooming in. It, the, the camera is it's playing hell at the the aperture on the camera, but they get bright or dim the lights. And uh, you can record video or take pictures through this app that's on the scan tool. Now, you can actually do this on the D1 Lite, <laughs> even though you don't have this Maxi Video app. If you know how to sideload apps, you go, through the, you go through the web browser and go to another website that has downloadable APK files for Android devices, and you can download. Uh, there's thousands and thousands of generic borescope apps out there, and pretty much any one of the apps will work with any one of the borescopes, and you can have a functioning borescope on the D1 Lite. But this shows you that a $20 borescope from Amazon will work on this device. And also, I wanted to show you. This this is the one this is the particular one that I have in case you're wondering if you can see it on there it's uh it's called the Tacmali I'll put a link for it down below in case you're interested and the last thing I wanted to show you is uh, I've showed this in the D1 Lite video but there's the Autofix battery tester and it's the Autofix B1 BT1 Lite and this connects via Bluetooth to the device. And you go over here to battery test this app right here. If you can see that it's right here, it's called battery test. You go in there. This device is powered by the battery. Actually, there is a port on here that you can use to charge a small battery inside of here. But normally, it would get its charge through the battery clamps when it's connected to a live battery. But either way, it needs power. So if the battery in here is dead and it's connected to a dead battery, it's, at some point, you got to get it power, either through here or here. And then once it's powered up, you can pair this with Bluetooth to the device, and you can do that through the VCI manager, through this uh, the, the BAS. That's the battery something. I don't know what it stands for, but it's the BAS, battery something or other. But that's where you... And, and actually, there are software or should I say firmware updates for these also, which I've already done on this. But this is where you would do that. So you can pair it. And then down here, it'll show your Maxi VCI and your battery tester as being paired to the device. I just wanted to show those last two things I almost forgot. Now let's go outside and plug this into the vehicle. All right, guys. So I'm out in the car. I got it all hooked up. Hopefully the air conditioning isn't too annoying. It's hot out today. As soon as I plugged in the VCI... The tablet automatically went to vehicle detected. So all I have to do to go into diagnosis is hit the blue button and accept. We'll do standalone diagnosis. I just did a VCI update. Uh, I didn't have the camera on for that. But I did a VCI update as soon as I turned it on and plugged it into the car and the tablet is on the Wi-Fi, it realized there was a new version 
of firmware for the VCI. So in order to do that, I had to plug in a cable from the top of the tablet to the bottom of the VCI and it updates the software. It's pretty simple to do. But we're sitting in a 2022 Kia and it requires, this car requires a cloud connection for some of the bi-directional functions and uh, features to work correctly with this vehicle. Uh, you should still always be able to get trouble codes and whatnot without an internet connection, but the vehicle, not the scan tool, so regardless of brand of scan tool, this car requires the scan tool to have an internet connection and a current subscription for your scan tool. It's not the scan tool's fault, it's the car that's requiring that. Anyhow, because I, we're hooked up to the internet and everything should work on this now, so uh, we're just getting into the vehicle here. So we can do an auto scan, we can go into control unit, there's hot functions, you know, parking, electronic parking brake, tire pressure monitoring system, uh, steering angle sensor, battery management, seats, odometer, VIN, you know, that type of stuff. So for example, we can go into electronic parking brake. And you can do the brake pad replacement routine, uh, change pad mode, and this will uh, electronically open and close the caliper back there so you can change the pads and the electric brakes. We'll back out of this. We'll go into control unit. We'll go into engine. We can do active tests just for some examples. See here where it says interacting with server. That's where it needs the internet connection in order to do this. Don't ask me why it needs to have an internet connection to turn your dome light on and off, but it does. So here's all the different things we can control with this vehicle. Um, I mean, you can go through and look at all this, but you know, keep in mind all of these data pit or not data pits, all of, all of these active tests are going to be different depending on what type of vehicle you're plugged into. So unless you are sitting in a 2022 Kia K5, you're going to see something different on your screen when you're plugged into a different vehicle. But these are all the things that you can control from the scan tool in this particular vehicle. So let's go, we'll go to special functions. This is more resetting adaptive values, read VIN, write VIN, evap, leakage test. You know, there's a bunch of stuff on here. I, this car is a little beyond my, <laughs> I don't typically work on stuff this new, so, it, and it's got a warranty. This car does actually have a, a check engine light that comes on and off, it comes and goes, it's a, uh, I don't know, ex exhaust pressure something or another. I'll let the dealer take care of it. Well, we go to live data. These are all the different live data PIDs that you can select and view. You know, there is a bunch of them on these, you know, as, as cars got newer... More and more stuff became computer controlled, so, or at least monitored by the computer. There's a bunch of stuff on here. We'll try uh, transaxle. Active test for the transaxle. Shift solenoids, torque converter, clutch. Yeah. Special functions, let's see what's in there. Resetting auto trans, adaptive values, oil pressure characteristics. Yeah. Let's go into, uh, oh, it goes this way. See here, this car comes in two or four wheel drive, and it's got four wheel drive control here, but this is a front wheel drive only model, so. You know, even stuff that's specifically for this vehicle is deceiving. 
driver's door module. Let's go in there. Active tests. Okay. Move driver outside mirror to the highest position. Move driver's outside mirror to the lowest position. <laughs> and then there's illumination test there. I don't need to do any of that, but you could if you needed to. And then, of course, we can do an auto scan. I've showed this in many, many, many of my, pretty much in all of my past uh, scan tool videos. Uh, let's see how... Let's see how quickly this will do a fault scan on this vehicle, or an auto scan. Here we go. I'll probably speed this up so you don't have to sit through it. Ooh, fast scanning. Wow. That was extremely fast. I did not speed that up. That was real time. That's the fastest I've ever seen a scan tool scan any vehicle. That must be uh, new software. And here, without having to touch anything, the, the trouble code popped up. And like I said earlier, it's all about exhaust pressure. I've got an exhaust pressure sensor, circuit range, performance. And it's a history code at the moment, but it does come and go. Whatever, a dealer can handle that. And, of course, you can do a quick, quick erase or do a full report. I've showed all that in the past. Um, yeah, we're going to exit. We'll go back to the... Uh, we'll go back to the home menu here. So, I just want to show all this once again. I know I've showed these before in other Autel and Autofix videos, but, you know, you got your main diagnostics... And this is where you can go in and control everything in the car. You can do the auto scan and the bi-directional controls and the, and the actuation tests and whatnot. And then service here. These are just shortcuts to functions that you normally find here. These are shortcuts that the tablet is capable of doing, but not on every vehicle. This is just basically shortcuts you know, for example, this car doesn't have a DPF filter. Obviously, that's not going to work. It's just, but the, the scan tool is capable of doing it, depending on what vehicle you're plugged into. If you go into the diagnostics mode and go into control unit and go into your special functions and your actuation tests, those are your bi-directional tests for the specific vehicle you're plugged into. A lot of people get confused that, well, if they see it in here, the scan tool should be able to do it. Well, that's... That the scan tool can only command a function that has already been programmed into the vehicle's computer from the factory. You can't, a scan tool cannot magically command anything that it wants. Just, just, you know, pick a feature that you want to work and have it magically command it. Whatever feature, and, and I mean every feature and function and bidirectional test and actuation test and reset mode, everything that you can do with a scan tool that a scan tool is able to do in any v given vehicle that you're plugged into is already programmed into the vehicle's computer from the car manufacturer's software engineers. The scan tool is just requesting that, that function or that service. There's no magic going on here. So just because the scan tool says it doesn't mean it can do it. And then uh, you got settings. Now, this is settings for the scan tool software. Not to be confused with, I'll go here to the Android home, this settings, which is settings for the Android tablet. So we'll go back to, uh, so this is settings for the, for the scan tool software. And you've got your data manager here. And this is where you'd keep, like, customer vehicle history, your workshop information if you had a, a workshop. Or you can keep your customer information. This is uh, where you'd keep images, images from probably anywhere. You could download them from the Internet off of a web browser, pictures that were taken with the camera on the back of the tablet. Just, it's your gallery. you got your cloud, your, your review data. Here's where you could have your data logs recorded. Uh... And you've got your uninstalled apps. So then you get your VCI manager. Now, 
This is where I had to do, just before I turned the camera on, I had to do a, a VCI update. And it tried to do it connected via Bluetooth. And I've never, ever had luck with that. Every time it says there's an update, I've always, on every Autel or Autofix tablet, you have to plug in a USB-A cord that has USB-C on the other end and plug that into the, the VCI while the VCI is also plugged into the vehicle so it gets powered up from the electricity that's powering it from the vehicle. And then once that's connected, you click this and it'll start trying to connect to the VCI via the, the cord. And then it'll show you if there's an update, which there was for me. You click update and boom, it does it all automatically. You see mine's up to date because I just did it a few minutes ago. But we'll go back to the Bluetooth connection here. Make sure the Bluetooth is on. Connecting. Oh, it's going to... You can hear it beep. It connected. So that's where you control your VCI. And then if you have the battery tester... See, look, as soon as the VCI makes a connection with the vehicle, it automatically detects it and says, this is the vehicle. And it shows you a VIN, the make. And then you can go right into the vehicle diagnostic with hitting that blue or that... Uh, by hitting that blue circle. We're going to X out of there. I started to say earlier, here's where you would connect for your battery tester. And if you have to update the battery tester, which I showed earlier, and I have a video on that battery tester that I'll post in the description below if you'd like to see that. Then this is the battery testing software. You've got Maxi Tools. This would keep a log of any trouble that you've had with the scan tool that you can send off to Autel or Autofix and their engineers can look at it and see what type of problem you're having. Um, here's where you go to your update. I'm going to cover up my account number. But here's where you go to your update. If there's any uh, updates available right now, everything's up to date. And there's where you can see renewal is uh, $299 a year after your first two years. But otherwise, everything else is up to date. Remote desktop, obviously, that I've mentioned that before. That's where the engineers from Autel or Autofix can kind of remote into your your your, uh, your scan tool and remotely control it and help you from their end uh, at their computer. Quick Link. These are just shortcuts to online resources for the auto repair world. Um, demonstration. You can pick a vehicle and it'll give you a demonstration. User feedback, that's where you can go on there and leave them comments or concerns. Support, I'm not going to click on it because it'll have my account information on that screen. But that's uh, technical support from Autel or Autofix. The OEM authorization, that's where you would uh, set up your auto auth account for FCA, Fiat Chrysler Automobiles. Maxi Viewer, this is kind of handy. And this is also on their website. So anybody watching this video, if you don't have the scan tool itself, you can do the same thing on their website under the... Under the uh, support tab, there's a spot where you can do this. You can select the scan tool that you're using or the one that you want to use or the one that you want to qu have a question about. And then you can pick a specific make, model, and year of vehicle. And you'll see if that scan tool is capable of doing certain features and functions on that particular vehicle. However, this service is not 100% perfect. So, you know, take it with a grain of salt. It's, it's not 100% perfect, but it, it is nice to have. The Maxi video here. This is where you would be able to view your inspection camera or your borescope. Now, of course, Autel sells one. It's Autel branded, but like I showed you earlier, you can just use a cheap, generic one, and it'll work fine. And uh, Maxi Scope here is now you need extra hardware that would plug into the scan tool, but you can use this with the Maxi Scope. Uh, I forget the model number on it, but it's basically a four channel. Oscilloscope or a shop scope, lab scope, whatever you want to call it. And then, of course, lastly, here you got your Autel User Center. This is your your account within the Autel website, but you can get that you can get to from your scan tool tablet. But anyway, this particular scan tool I think is awesome. This is my number one favorite scan tool of all the scan tools I've ever used. I could only have one this would be the one that I would pick. But anyway, that's all I have for now. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.